want to check out what's going on in the kitchen. Three different dips today, <laughs> right guys? That's 100% correct. <laughs> in addition to that, happy anniversary. Thank you. Tell the folks what's going on. <laughs> Greer's is celebrating our 98th anniversary starting today and for two weeks. So we are going to be having special ads and events in all of our stores. So happy birthday to us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no doubt about that. And how amazing is it to have something like this in your family for 98 years serving the people of the Gulf Coast? It's special. We feel so blessed. My great-great-grandfather started the company back in 1916. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm part of the fifth generation for our company. And and um, we feel lucky. We, we really do. We have amazing customers who have kept us in business for 98 years. So thank you to everybody out there who shops with us. Five <laughs> generations. Truly unbelievable. Well, happy 98th birthday. Thank you. And thank today you. we are making a few different things to celebrate. Three different kind of summer dips. Tell yeah. us what's going on here. Yeah, I thought um, a party, you know, our yeah. birthday party. So I thought three different dips that are quick and simple. We're going to start off with um, a fresh pineapple and jalapeno salsa. Um, fruit during the summer, you know, everything looks gorgeous in all of our produce departments, so I thought let's just highlight some of the great things. So I have two cups of fresh pineapple, just diced really small, and that's about half of a pineapple. Okay. And we are also going to add the zest and juice of two limes. I've already done one lime, and I'm just going ahead and doing the next one. I think you've done lemon zest on the show before. I think this is the first time we've done lime oh, zest. Oh, really? Yes. I love to use the zest of any citrus, and mm -hmm. this is a microplane. What I'm using, you can pick those up um, at any kitchen store. And you want to be careful, of course, it's just like a grater. You don't want to get your fingers too close. But I'm just taking off the green part of the lime, and that's going to add a lot of extra flavor to this and bring out the lime juice. And then I'm going to add a cup of fresh tomatoes. I use Roma tomatoes today, but if um, anybody's growing tomatoes out there, I know my husband brings in tomatoes every day <laughs> from the yard. Um, so if you're looking for something to do instead of just a traditional salsa, this one's kind of fun and, and different and um, sweet. Yeah, and it seems really summery, not only that, but it's also very healthy with this combination of uh, fruits and vegetables. It really is, and this um, is great with chips, but it's also wonderful over fish, grilled mm, fish, yeah. or chicken, um, any kind of protein. Shrimp would be great. So there goes our cup of tomatoes. I have a half a cup of Vidalia onion chopped up. We have one jalapeno. I just used one today, but if you like things with even more of a kick, go ahead and add two. We have a little bit of salt, and I'm going to add some cilantro. And this is something that's pretty cool in our stores that you can get. Instead of having to get the fresh cilantro and chopping it up, fresh cilantro is already in a little container for you. So <laughs> if you're in a rush, just squeeze it out. So we're going to do a couple tablespoons, and then a little bit of olive oil, and we will have a delicious salsa for any time during your summer, lots of parties going on, and this is perfect to take to the beach. That was certainly quick and easy. And yeah. Like we know, the uh, snapper season has been extended on the weekends at Gulf Coast. Why not throw some of this pineapple jalapeno salsa <laughs> yes. on top of some fresh snapper? I think that would be delicious, that but it looks be. great. We've got two more dips <laughs> to get to throughout the show. The recipes are all online, the Studio 10 tab on Fox10TV.com. Cherish. We'll take care of you guys with the nutritional side over here. <laughs> Lucy Greer from Greer's Market and Catering making three dips today. And this one is a tzatziki dip. Mm -hmm. And Lucy was telling me it has Greek yogurt in it. Mm -hmm. High in protein. You have your dairy there. So good stuff. It is good stuff. And we're also going to add some cucumber, which is essentially like eating nothing. There you go. <laughs> yeah, today we um, already made our pineapple jalapeno salsa, which was the fresh pineapple and jalapenos and onions and tomatoes and mm -hmm. dressed that with some lime juice. Yes, yeah, so that's all ready to go. And now we are going to make that tzatziki dip. I'm using Greek yogurt today, but if you can't get your hands on Greek yogurt, which is very thick as you can see, you can use plain yogurt. All you're going to want to do is put it in a colander, just like what I have the um, cucumbers in. Mm -hmm. Put a little, if you have cheesecloth, put that in there. If you don't, put a paper towel. Put it in there, let it drain for about 30 minutes, and the water will come out of it, and then you'll have thick yogurt. Uh -huh. So you can still do it if you don't have the Greek. And also, we're going to add one cucumber and 
again, talking about liquid coming out of things, uh -huh. I put two teaspoons of salt on this cucumber after I diced it up, and look at all the liquid that came out of it. Definitely so need to drain it. Yeah, you got to drain it because you don't want all of that in your dip. Right. So we're going to add that one cucumber, mm -hmm. and also... Um, you probably want to seed it because the seeds have a lot of liquid in there too. Okay. Now we're going to add the zest of one lemon. We did lime in the pineapple salsa. We're going to do lemon in this. All right. My husband's Greek and we went to Greece on our honeymoon and every meal we ate he had to order tzatziki. Really? So, yeah. He loves it. So, um, so you had to learn how to make it. <laughs> yeah. I had to learn how to make it and, it and it's so easy and it's great on anything. I mean, you can you put um, it with pita chips or crudite or any kind of protein like I was mentioning. Of course, um, in Greece they eat it on lamb and chicken and everything. So it's really a great, versatile, simple dish to learn how to make. Okay, now we're going to add the juice of half a lemon. Mm -hmm. mm, that smells so good. And we're also going to grate in, using our microplane, one clove of garlic. And I'm grating it b because it's a lot better in something like this so that it comes into a paste rather than, you know, having little bits of it. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm going to use this dill paste that I got at our store in our produce oh. department. In the salsa, okay. I used the cilantro paste. And this time, I'm going to use the dill paste. Of course, if you have fresh dill, you can chop it up. But just for um, a busy person in the kitchen, this just makes All life us, a lot right? easier. And they also make garlic. So, um, nice. okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of dill and a little bit of pepper, and this dip is ready, ready to, go. to go. Good deal. And you can get all of these ingredients at any Greer's Market and Catering location. Mm -hmm. And we have them all listed on Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page, as well as all three of these dip recipes. So we have the first two, and next time we're going to make this pimento cheese dip. And Lucy, you said instead of putting the pimentos in, you've used roasted red peppers. And why did you do that? It's going to add a lot more flavor and depth to our pimento cheese. It's going to add some Ooh. sweetness and a little bit of, um, you know, that char flavor. Oh, so yes. get ready for that. We're going to be doing that in just a few minutes.